A new surge in attacks on shipping in the Red Sea by the Iranian-backed Houthis has led to BP, Maersk and at least four other companies halting shipments. Given the significant impact this could have on shipping costs, supply chains and inflation, recall the impact of the Ever Given blocking the Suez Canal, a forceful if belated US response now seems to be forthcoming, with talk of possible strikes in Yemen and plans for a new task force to protect shipping. After numerous drone and missile attacks on Red Sea shipping in recent weeks, this weekend's escalation seems to have reached a tipping point, both for global shipping companies and the White House. After a Maersk ship was involved in a near miss on Thursday, and two Liberian flagged ships were struck by missiles and drones Friday, the company chose to suspend all shipments through the Red Sea. Maersk represents approximately 15% of world trade. Then on Saturday, the USS Kearney shot down 14 attack drones, with British and French military vessels also shooting down drones and missiles which led to four other shipping companies also suspending travel through the Red Sea. And on Monday, BP became the first oil company to announce they would suspend all oil and gas shipments through the Red Sea due to the deteriorating security situation. The company said, In our trading and shipping business, as in all BP businesses, the safety and security of our people and those working on our behalf is BP's priority. Monday also saw Evergreen suspend shipping in the region. Around 12% of global trade passes through the Red Sea every year, making the impact of increased transit times, delivery delays, and increased shipping costs significant, particularly if these suspensions are extended. A six-day blockade caused by the Ever Given in 2021 led to a traffic jam in the sewers of over 200 vessels. Likely for this reason, the US is now looking into both creating a maritime protection force to counteract the continued Houthi attacks, as well as looking at options to strike at the Houthis in Yemen. The anticipated protection force, expected to be announced in the coming week, is being referred to as Operation Prosperity Guardian and will be tasked with protecting shipping in the region. A number of Arab states are said to be involved. Politico has also reported that the Biden administration is now also considering the possibility of striking the Houthis in Yemen, with the Eisenhower carrier group moving into the Gulf of Aden in the past few days. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin said, In the Red Sea, we're leading a multinational maritime task force to uphold the bedrock principle of freedom of navigation. Iran's support for Houthi attacks on commercial vessels must stop. While the Iranian defense minister, speaking of the proposed task force in the Red Sea, said, If the US makes such an irrational move, they will be faced with extraordinary problems.